Dent Crossing, Gethsemane, Kentucky. Timeless hospitality that stirs the spirit. Dant Crossing is a one-of-a-kind destination for unforgettable weddings, memorable corporate events, day trips, and weekend getaways. The pastoral campus is anchored by Logstill Distillery and includes an amphitheater that seats 2,000, a 12-acre lake for fishing and unique lodging options, creating an immersive experience that's rooted in the community and culture of our little slice of Kentucky. More attractions will open soon at Dant Crossing, including our 21,000 square foot distillery, which we will have the ability to produce 15,000 barrels of spirit each year. A network of wooded walking trails, fully functional private train depot, farm to table restaurant, and the legacy, a premier wedding and events venue. Whether you're looking to host an event, book a stay, or reserve a tasting, we're ready to welcome you. Learn more at dantcrossing.com. Spirits of French Lick is proud to introduce the Maddie Gladden Bottled and Bond Bourbon. This four-year-aged bourbon is double pot distilled and non-chill filtered and has a full-bodied mouthfeel with eucalyptus, molasses, clove, ginger, and slight citrus as well as grains of paradise. The finish is long and reappearing on the back of the tongue with notes of pepper, tobacco leaf, and mint cream. All of our spirits are available for tasting and purchase inside the French Lick Winery and Distillery. Spirits of French Lick, respect the grain, please enjoy responsibly, and be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Oh, show me the way to the next whiskey bar. Oh, don't ask why. Oh, don't ask why Show me the way to the next whiskey bar Oh, don't ask why Oh, don't ask why For if we don't find the next whiskey bar I tell you we must die I tell you we must die I tell you, I tell you I tell you, we must die. Whoa. All right. Everybody, welcome to Tiny's 10-Minute Tasting. I, again, have special guest Seth M. Official. Boom. I got that one right. You did. Anyways, you did. T- on this Tiny's 10-Minute Tasting, we are tasting a Race King Rabbit Hole Founders Collection. And this is a beautiful box with display so for $330 this is what you get and when we bought this we were in line at the distillery me and super nash and when we bought it kavi was right there to sign our bottle so you can see it's signed by the owner of rabbit hole so great great experience now, while I start to do the pours, those are fresh glasses. Hi, Seth, Seth M. Official, official is going to read give a little from reading on the this box. One. My approach to making spirits is instinctive. It starts with a desire to work with a single ingredient. I then let the gains and wood inspire me to create whiskeys unlike any that have ever come before. That's what I love about crafting fine whiskey. Within the limits of what defines it, there is so much room for creativity. There is also risks, and to do something great, you have to take them. Fear and self-doubt loom through the years it takes to know if those risks paid off. That's what makes the whole process so thrilling. Race King is a homage to Kentucky's story tradition of race of horse racing. Crafting a fine bourbon as much in common with breeding a thoroughbred. Not only do the greatest of each often hail from the bluegrass, but both pursuits are strikingly similar. The mash bill is like the pedigree. You select a specific combination of traits, then set the conditions for those traits to mature and develop. Years later, after much hope and patience, you see the results. If you're lucky, your whiskey has something special. A spark that makes it surge to the front of the pack, with Race King all stars aligned. Whiskey is all about flavor, particularly unadulterated, non-chill filtered expressions. At cast strength, with nothing added and nothing taken away, you taste the essence of how grain, wood, thyme, and terrier? T-E-R-R-O-I-R? There you go. Terrier? Come together. With this distinct bourbon, I went all in on a unique double chocolate malt. 
five distinct grains with different types of malts with a double malt combination of chocolate wheat and chocolate barley, carefully aged in handmade wood-fired toasted and charred barrels. Making fine whiskey is a creative art driven by a primal desire to turn a simple grain into gold. Race King was an example, but unfortunately the payout has been... But fortunately, not unfortunately, but fortunately, the payout has been outstanding. This limited edition Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey is bold and complex. At cast strength, it is designed for the discerning cognoscenti, cognoscenti, who are looking for a singular whiskey experience. Enjoy a full strength or with a touch of water to release more layers of detail and character, but never be afraid to drink as you please. Let our carefully crafted whiskey be a metaphor for life. Complexity can be beautiful, differences are something to be appreciated, and life is best lived in the company of the people we love. Good reading. I love how you handle that. You handle the... I, I suck at when I can't really I mean, read it. It's just like, good job. I four years it. of acting school you paid for really paid off, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we go. Uh, this was an experience to get. This has double chocolate malted barley... Bur and it's a bourbon, so oh, yes. Clink it and drink Let's, it. Well, or nose it. <sighs> I do smell like the chocolate. Oh I'm not sure God. if that's because I read that no, it was chocolate. No, no, no. Just know that sometimes uh, the power of suggestion allows you to pick out what you might not pick out when you're doing it blind, not knowing anything. But but it's like dark chocolate too. But it's, it's not, delicious yeah. chocolate. It's not milk chocolate. It's very dark. The, the, there is some sweetness. Now this one's complicated. So what you got to do on your nose, you, like you're, a, you're almost evaporated milk. So sweet, when when we when we when we sweet. taste with our Scotchy Bourbon Boy Glencairns, one of the things you roll around, you check it out. But also a Glencairn is tulip shaped, so that it comes up and it concentrates all the smells. So one of the he's rolling his right now to get the body uh, on the glass. That's all those really cool. Look at that suck. That's just unbelievable what that it's doing in the glass. It's just body. running back down with. But I mean, it's With just a crazy. million little deltas. Yep. yep. Legs. Anyways, <laughs> so when you when you nose though, try this. You have it down the bottom, but then go to raise it, raise the glass, so you pull off to the top. <laughs> 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 so, as you raise up, oh. I mean, that's cho that's chocolate delicious. It reminds me of like it gets more milk chocolate at the top. Count chocula. More milk chocolate at the top. As a kid, yeah. Because it, it mixes like a milk dot. Mil yeah, milk, milk dot yes. is what I would say. So or dark like chocolate at the even. bottom. And then up to the top. Oh, I, I mean, this is a 25 nose that, that, that's, that never that's, was. Yeah, the that's, Scotchy that Bourbon is, Boys. Yeah. Um, I, I don't even need a top. Rating, that's a rating 25 nose. Rating system is 25 for nose, 25 for taste, 25 for <clears throat> up to 25 for body and, and finish. Yeah, and 100%. So 100 is a, is a perfect score. Haven't had one of those yet. But this is a delicious... I mean, it, the nose is just right there. Wait, but nose, wait, noses let's, can be deceiving. Let's watch him taste it. Here we go. All right. Wait. Yep, there we go. Oh, my God. Is that so good? It's like a it's chocolate very, yeah. milkshake. It's very strong, but it is so, like, rich and chocolatey. Did we go to the proof? We did not. We did not go. What is the proof? All right, I gotta get this back. It's out. almost, it's almost like decadent. This is a dessert bourbon. It is. I imagine putting this in a. It's at the bottom of the last thing right there. What hundred? It is a hundred and nine point two proof. There you go. Um, delicious. I mean, it doesn't drink like a hundred and nine proof. Oh, There's it no doesn't. Nine. It doesn't. And it's delicious. Uh, like I said, it's chocolate milkshake. It's the, probably chocolate. the best tasting one so far. I will say it's probably a little bit too strong for me to like enjoy with my you know palate. But, like I wouldn't like I would I would want this mixed. I know you the know, malt, but like it's chocolate malt. Oh my god, that's pretty good. <laughs> There we go. Hot that's five. pretty good. Yeah, I admit that's that's something right. I would I would enjoy so drinking. So we pulled one. We pulled one off that he liked. So this at 109 proof. Uh, it's Race King Rabbit Hole. Uh, delicious. Let's uh, let's rate this. Okay. Uh, nose is 25. Nose is 25 as well. That's the probably the best smelling one I've I've ever smelled. Like I've smelled a lot. He, let's you know, just he go to the body. Drags me in. The body is it's just, like a it's like a fifteen, like a fourteen maybe. It doesn't 
It doesn't fill your full mouth. It doesn't do the cheeks, but it does your tongue, the roof of your mouth, and under. I would give the body a 20. Okay. I would give it, I, I, I'll give it a 16. How about there? We'll, I'll compromise. The a 16. taste, though? Taste is, is up, is like a 23, 24. I'll give it a 24 for taste. I'll give it a 24 as well. Because that's, I mean, that's some damn so, good stuff. So we both, so you're just two under me right now. And the finish, not, there's not any bitter oakiness. There's like Before, a, there's a malt on the finish that's left. And the way that you should think of the finish is like when you go, when you yeah. leave, if you drank this, what's it's, left in your mouth? It's dark chocolate. What's left in your mouth is if you like really dark, like, like cacao, like straight chocolate bar. Cacao! That's what's, that's what's left in your mouth after. And I don't get any, like, strong alcohol taste at all. It's literally, like... And that's a good bitterness. I, I You know, and the other ones I kept saying, like, there's a bad bitterness. This is a good chocolatey bitterness. This is a coffee bitterness. This well, would taste as, great. As soon as you go to... Really, you're going to put a $330 bourbon in your coffee? Yeah. Just a little a little shot in the morning, wake you up, get you tasting good. Maybe a mocha, even. You better make it as an actor to yeah. be able to do that shit. <laughs> All right, anyways, oh. folks, so I basically gave this, um, let's see, four, I, I, I minus five, I gave it minus one, and then as far as the finish, I am going to give this a 23 on the finish. I'm so going to give it like a 20 eight. on the finish. That's so 20, eight, well, so you I know, give, I'll give it 22. 22. So I give it 92. So I would give it, what, 86? I don't I'm bad at math. So you did 25. 25. 18, 35, 43. And then you gave it um, a 24, 53, 63, 67. And what did you give it on the finish? Finish 23. 67, 77, 87. You gave it a 90. Gave it a 90. And this is, this is some of the best so I've tasted. So you just got a gin drinker to give a bourbon a 90. So you only got to drop like We keep going up in price. 100 or no, $300 Remember, to get a gin drinker? <laughs> www.scotchybourbonboys.com this is tiny's 10 minute tastings i'm tiny from the scotchy bourbon boys you can catch us on all major podcast format and youtube instagram tiktok facebook and there's one more i always forget which one but anyways catch us on all social media twitter there twitter was, that was there it, it i knew it was there so uh this is seth m official we are signing out Cheers, everybody. Peace out. The Watershed Story. A watershed moment might be pivotal, but it might also be quiet and fleeting. It could be a monumentous occasion, a cause for celebration, and an enormous triumph or a small daily victory. A watershed moment could be a rekindling or an observation or a gathering. Any opportunity to relish with friends and family, it's whatever you choose to cheers to, who you're gathered around, and whatever's worth celebrating. We founded Watershed Distillery on the principles of community in 2010. We wanted to live in, work in, and contribute to the community in which we grew up. We aimed to create spirits and stood apart in quality and character. Along the way, we set out to form a community of our own, one that could gather together to savor, celebrate, and enjoy good spirits and company. We've grown from a tiny little still and two guys in jumpsuits to a dedicated team of over 40 people and two much larger stills. If you're ever in the area, stop by so we can introduce you to our team and pour you some of our award-winning bourbon. Creating it was our watershed moment, but we want to hear about yours.